Gee, That's okay. We got the cameras rolling. No problem. Let's go do this, man. That's right. Let's have some fun. Yeah. All right. All right. I think I should go to Baja mode, huh? Yeah, go ahead and switch to Baja mode, please. All right. Let's go to Baja mode, which keeps the turbo spooled up. Is it okay? Yes, that'll put us in four high. Okay. That'll give us the really good off-road ABS calibration that we've calibrated specifically for these off-road environments. All right. That's going to put our stability control in a more fun mode, so it's going to let you slide a little bit, but not get too crazy. Yep. And that's also going to take traction control. It's going to reduce that also. We're going to let the wheel spin as needed. So that's going to be our go fun in the desert. All right. How fast do you want me to go? Right now, you can probably take it up to 65 or so, pretty comfortably. 65. Yep. I'm doing 70 right now. There you go. Well, let's just keep it there. It looks good to me. Yeah. It really, um, really awesome. feels good. I mean, you can really feel that suspension working underneath. You can feel those KO2s biting. Uh, I feel like I've got plenty of control. I don't feel like, uh, you know, I'm I'm getting out of my depth in this truck, which is always scary when that happens, right, when you're over the line. Absolutely. Uh, yeah, really compliant, lots of power. Haven't tested the brakes, but there's no reason to, so why do it? Right, right. <laughs> yeah, no, I think, like you said, everything is now, this vehicle is fully set up to do this. To have a lot of fun, go really fast, and really enjoy yourself in a safe, controlled manner. more suspension travel. We've got larger diameter shocks with more zones. So all that equals much better through rough terrain. We've also got more horsepower, right? We've got 450 horsepower and a ton of torque with the EcoBoost vehicle, right? Yep. We've also got a 10-speed transmission, which allows you to always be in the sweet spot of the powertrain. And of course, as you mentioned earlier, we've got anti-lag mode in the Baja mode, which, which keeps the turbo spooled up, so you have instant throttle response. And then everything else we've just what we've learned for in the previous vehicle we've applied to this vehicle right we've learned to make the abs even better we've learned to make the stability control even better we've got our engine calibration our transmissions even better everything about it you're going to feel when we hit the brakes and slow down the engine's actually going to blip the throttle the transmission's going to tell the engine to blip the throttle so we have smooth quick downshifts and i think you're going to find the upshifts are really really fast yeah so far it's uh taking this stuff with ease Okay, yeah, we'll slow down here. We're gonna go drop down in this wash and go straight through it. It's just a, a drop off here. You're good. How should I be braking? Just nice and gentle. I'm trying just, to do everything. Yeah, nice kinda. and gentle. Yep. I tell everybody don't don't just charge up and hit the brakes really hard. Because yep. as you know, off road, there's a lot of braking bumps, and they will really want to kick the wheel with any vehicle you have. So you're driving correctly with your thumbs out. You always want to keep your thumbs out for an off road driving, because you just never know in these really extreme terrain. You know, the wheels always get kicked in any off-road vehicle you're in. You'll get some steering wheel kick. We don't want you damaging, you know, injuring your thumb a little bit or something. We're getting a little bit of air. It's kind of fun. Absolutely. Getting a little bit of uh, these whoop de doos yeah. <laughs> Absolutely. And right through here is a really good example of that longer, more wheel travel. In the, in the 415, the, the previous RAP generation Raptor, you would actually start to get what we call topping. We'd run, out, we'd run out of rebound travel. So the truck would go up and you'd hear the wheel go thunk as it, as it fully hit the rebound stop. This you won't because you got a little bit more travel. Um, the old truck would do these just fine, but it wasn't quite as comfortable. You're going to find this truck is more comfortable through this stuff. You know, the one thing I feel about this truck is it feels uh, a lot more composed. The dampening seems a little bit more race ready. It yeah. also feels tighter, if you know what I mean. They, they, it, it feels like it's put together a little bit more uh, solidly. Yeah. It feels like one big truck as opposed to a bunch of components screwed together to a metal frame. <laughs> Absolutely. You know, and actually the aluminum body is actually more tight. Everybody expects the opposite, but Ford's done a really good job engineering the F-150 body. And so this cab is really solid. Yep. Um, oh, you're in manual. There you go. Yep. 
Yeah, you can choose. Just, you know, I, tell everybody, I tell everybody just to use drive, but if you want to use the manual, go for it. Yeah, give it a shot. Yeah. We, we, uh, we worked really hard on the calibration of the uh, of the transmission to where it should always be in the right gear for you at the right time. So, I mean, that's just one less thing the customer's got to do is shift the, shift the engine. You know, shift the transmission, excuse me, to keep the engine at the right RPM. You can yeah, see what you think about this also. As you can see, the paddles are very large. The paddle shifters, they're, they're very... You know, they're very sturdy aluminum. We spent a lot of time. Magnesium, dude. Pardon me? Magnesium. Magnesium. Well, that's right, they're magnesium. Sorry about that. Thank you. You caught me. We, we put, yep, so we're going to kind of just go past the cone and then we're going to do the trails. Just going to lightly sweep to the left. There you go. Good job. Good job. Keep going. Good, good. Good speed. Good speed. Go ahead. Awesome. Good job. Yep, we're gonna go straight between these two sets of cones here. Yeah, these panel shifters are great in 10 years. It seems like, you know, it seems like six too many, but yeah, <laughs> but, yeah. but it seems okay. Yeah. Now you drove the old Baja, old Raptor in the Baja 1000. How do you do this for like 24 hours? I'm already tired. <laughs> It's a lot of intensity to drive that long, right? I mean, the adrenaline's going, yeah. you know, you're, you're concentrating so hard for so long. It's really extreme, and, and at night is the worst, right? Because you have these really powerful off-road lights, but yet you still can't see oh. as far out as you want. Good job. No, you did a great job. You missed the hole. Great job. Yeah, I love this power. You know, I gotta tell you, I love the sound of the V8, but I love the power of, of this uh, 3.5 liter EcoBoost. Yeah. It really seems to be uh, well matched, well paired <laughs> to the <laughs> Absolutely. truck. Absolutely. The, the amount of torque is unbelievable, right? And the top end horsepower is there too, so you get the best of both worlds, right? Yep. And, and again, everybody expects that with the turbos you're going to have turbo lag, but, but the anti-lag feature that we put in the Baja mode calibration gets rid of that, so you get a lot of good throttle response. Yeah, now we're coming into dust here, yeah. so back it off a little see. bit. Good job. Yeah. Yeah. I, I can tell it. I mean, it's keeping this turbo right about 4,000 RPM. Yep. So it's keeping it right in that sweet spot. Yeah, I think we caught up to the truck. It really is. 4,000 is right about peak torque. Yep. So you're right right at the, where you, when you tip back the throttle, boom, you've got instant max, max torque to really, and you'll feel the thrust is just unbelievable for the vehicle, right? It just thrusts you forward. Yeah, I'm starting to become friends with this thing. I'm getting a little bit more confident. Uh, not too confident, but just a little bit more. I'm starting to kind of, kind of get the sense of the measure of this truck. Great, great. The only thing I gotta tell you that, that I'm a little disappointed in is, and, and you know, Ford does this in the EcoBoost uh, Mustang too, is the, the fact that you kind of augment this engine note. Yes, we do. Oh, You're absolutely right. right. Either way is fine. Okay. This will this will go right back on. Sorry, I didn't right. Get so so we're cleaning up. You're doing a little bit of noise cancellation, and you're doing a little bit of enhancement. And I kind of like. Um, there's just something about a V8 that that's hard to beat. Of course, the V8 yep. was, I think, a lot heavier. It wasn't direct injected. It's just a lot older architecture for an engine. Yeah, it was. You're right. You're right. Um, yeah, this is. Uh, we, we are augmenting it. You're right. But you know, people are doing that in top line sports cars even now. The new Ferrari has it. You know, Corvettes have it. Porsches have it. Everybody is doing it now. So it's a. It's. I understand. It's not quite as pure. We're going to stay, yeah, stay left, please. And so we'll veer back over to the left here. Yeah, I was talking with the chief engineer, and he said, you know, I said, well, the reason you went to the EcoBoost was because. Um, a fuel economy. He said, no, absolutely not. He said, they did. you did the EcoBoost because the engine's just a lot more modern. Direct injected. It's aluminum versus yes. steel. Yes. A lot lighter. Yes. Uh, and it just it just made sense to go go, go toward the future and not toward the past. Yeah, but you're you know, absolutely right on that. And we could get more power out of it, more torque. It was really, it's really a good, very good engine. But we also worked a lot on cooling. Anytime you have a boosted engine, you, you're always concerned about cooling. So we worked a lot on the intercooler sizing and pump, the, the radiator, all that to make sure that we, we make good power all in all conditions. It, allow, it feels like the, it allows a little bit of uh, sideways uh, slippage, right? It does. So as, as yeah. a, and when you're in Baja mode, the yep. stability control, which would be stopping the side slip and the yaw, yep. um, if you open that up just a little bit, okay, easy over this one here. Good. Good job. Yeah, it feels good. Good job. Great job. Yep, now we can open up a little bit. There we, there go. we go. There's your torque. There's Ford. <laughs> yep, we'll go. You're right. You're fine. More or less straight. Yep, good, good. It's just, 
Yep, perfect. Good job. You see where you're going? You see another cone way up yep, in the distance? You're going to go just to the right of that cone. Good job. Good job. Now we're going to sweep to the left. Good speed. You're okay. Go ahead. Go ahead. Keep going. Go. You're fine. You're fine. You're fine. Get that back to the left a little bit. Good speed. Go ahead. Go ahead. Keep your speed up. You're doing great. Great. It's going to tighten to the right here a little bit. You're good speed though. You're okay. Turn more. You have to turn a little bit more than you think sometimes in the loose stuff. You're getting the hang of it. Good job. Good job. Good job. That's all right. You didn't hurt the truck at all. It, it's fine. It's got a, you were just starting to get into, in the, deeper in the stroke of the shock and in that stiff zone. That's why you kind of felt it yep. get stiff in the rear. But that's fine. You can do that all day. Good job. Job. You're fine. Fun, huh? Yeah. Hey. We're having a good time now. Whoa. It's okay. No problem. <laughs> that was good in the jounce bumper there a little bit. Yeah. No problem. Good.